protested is Ecuador. Hello, I am Nia Isabella Maginal. I am 26 years old. My height is 175 meters. My weight is 60 kilos. I am from Ecuador, Guayaquil. The capital is Quito. It sits high in the Andean foothills at an altitude of 2,850 meters and it was constructed on an ancient icon city. It is known for its well preserved colonial center. It's a poor city known as the gateway to the Pacific beaches and the Galapagos Island. My education is two years of graphic designer and I love to study languages. I work in a family company as an administrator. I also work as a model on the film industry. I won an acting award in 2010 and I won a civic contest in my college. I do yoga and meditation. With exercise, I retrieve medication from my body and soul. I love nature, humankind, and of course, animals. I'm interested in this international group because I'm sure and I know that I'm in the right platform to show my community and the world that no matter the weight, the color, or the identity that you own, you can achieve anything you truly want because everything starts within ourselves. I am a transformational leader and I will create awareness through social media that we, transgender women, we are an asset for mankind because of our diversity. And Ecuador, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Miss Isabella Maquinon. I am 26 years old and I am from the beautiful country, Ecuador. Ecuador! Yeah. Thank you very much for coming to Thailand Thank you for inviting joining me. our yeah, pageant nice. today. Well, I'm going to ask you this question. I heard from my team that um, when you were in your mommy's tummy, um, they were so sure that you were going to come out a girl. Why yeah. is that? Because my mom went to the doctors and the doctors say that I would be a girl. Mm -hmm. So after nine months, my mom and my father, I came out and I was a boy. So they, and they were so surprised that, of course, love is more stronger than sex and uh -huh. colors. So they were so happy anyways. Okay, yes. so um, growing up, when did you know that you were a lady? Yeah, actually I, I discovered that I was a boy. It was different. Hold on, one, one more time. time. Yeah. You discovered that you were a boy. Yes. Okay, explain to me. Explain this to me. Well, I thought all my life that I was a girl till the day of seven or eight that I I started experiencing something, so I say, oh my god, I'm a boy. So it was very different. So you grew up in your heart thinking that yeah, you I was are a girl. a girl. Then at the age of seven, you discovered that you are actually a boy. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Well, actually, it didn't hit me. It hit me when I was 15 and everything started changing, mm -hmm. like more drastically becoming a man. Mm -hmm. So I see myself in the mirror and I was in shock and in complete craziness. I said, I don't want this for my life. Mm -hmm. I want to be the beautiful angelical face that I have before. Mm -hmm. So I started Googling and I say, I need, I need to be a woman. Okay, so um, 15, you finally discovered that it's not okay. It's not okay because not my okay. body was changing. Yeah. Yeah. When did you decide to go to transition? Well, I decided to go to transition when I was 18. Like, so that was then, only three years later? Yeah. Okay. I was so free, so I say at the day of my, of my birthday, I went to the beauty salon. And then I say, I want my friend's fresh manic manicure and uh -huh. I want my hair blonde. Okay. So then I went out to my mom and I say, I want to be free and I want to be my true identity and I want to be a woman. Okay. And, and my mom, well. What were, your, what were their um, I went reaction? to psychologists after they, they understood my mom needs to go to the psychology. So she was very supportive, thanks God. I'm a mess. Yeah. Okay, so basically, let's just say you were born a lady. Yeah. <laughs> with surprises. So it's with, with a little bit of surprises <laughs> here and there. With a spices, I think. Okay, it's okay. Surprises is something fun, something for you to enjoy in life. Um, what is um, what is it like growing up as a transgender in your country? Well, actually, it is very difficult because we live in a very uh, 
men culture, like mm -hmm. it's a Latin man. Yeah. It's so it's so difficult and I don't know, I just have to to get stronger, believe in my in, in, in my true self and, and yeah. Anything to say to young people out there yes. who want to grow up and be beautiful just like you? You have to be free and believe in yourself because any day no matter which day, one year, your dreams will really come to come true. Just look at me. I was a little boy or a little girl, <laughs> knowing that I was a boy, and now I'm here. So dreams, they really come true. Believe in yourself. Dreams do come true. Believe in yourself. Thank you so much, Echo Thank you so much. Kapunka. Kapunka. Kapunka.